All right, Dodge 2021 Ram tail light removal. Okay, this is real similar to previous years to get this out, but Dodge kind of threw us a curveball. I think the last couple of years here, and they've added these little uh, push retainers to it, so I'll show you, give you a, a tip on that, how to get those out. But this tail light, it's got four things that you have to take out. Uh, it's got two screws and two of these plastic push retainers, and I'll kind of show you how to get those out. The screws, you're going to want to use a Torx 25 bit to get those out. Uh, obviously, just unscrew those. And then what you're going to have is you're going to have these, oh, camera, you're going to have these plastic, hang on, plastic push retainers that go right in here. And the trickiest thing about these is not tearing the head up on these push retainers when you're trying to take it out. Uh, if you tear that little head up, these are kind of a booger to get out. Not kind of, they can be a real pain in the butt. So you want to be careful when you're taking these out. My recommendation would be to take a screwdriver and as you're trying to get these out, sorry, I'm trying to hold the camera and, and demonstrate all this at the same time. You're going to want to take a screwdriver, something, you know, thin that you can take in there and just kind of put in there between where that's pushed in and just kind of wedge that apart a little bit on both the top and the bottom. And then you'll get a little bit of space in there. And then what I did is I took a trim tool remover. You can get one like this down at O'Reilly's or Advanced Auto Parts or something like that. Uh, mine's got a little bit of a bend on the end and it also acts like a pair of pliers. These are really handy if you have to remove stuff a lot. Um, I think they're called Steg, Steg pliers or something like that. Uh, but uh, anyway, these little push pins are the real trick to getting this tail light out. It's just two screws and then you got two of these, one on the top and one on the bottom. And like I said, you want to loosen that up with that, that screwdriver or something flat and skinny. Uh, you know, get it in there and just kind of pry that apart and then like I said, use your Use your trim tool or something like that to get in there, get clamped around that head and just kind of pull that out just, to, just enough and then that, that piece will come out. But as for the tail light itself, really simple. This is basically four bolts in a pole. This tail light just comes straight back like the previous years. My camera work is just the best. I know you guys love it. Um, so it's got two, two push pins. There's one right there. One right there, so that's the inside there. It just goes in those little grommets there. It's uh, it's pretty, pretty simple. So, and then to put it back in, you just apply everything, push it back in, and oh, if you want to take the connector off too, that's that's real simple. The connector is just you take your screwdriver, pop that little red tab back, that safety tab, and then you just push on this little tab right here, pull that wiring harness off, and push it back on. And uh, yeah, piece of cake, you've got it. So like I said, to put everything back in, you're just gonna wanna line it back up, pop it back in there, and then the, the obviously the bigger holes is, is where the plastic push retainers go, and that smaller hole there is where the screws go with the 25 Torx bit. So anyway, another real quick video on how to get that tail light out. Like I said, the secret to this one is not tearing up these plastic retainers. If that head, on there gets torn up it can be a real pain in the butt to get out so i hope this helps somebody as always have a good day